overnight. Israel confirming it killed the leader of Hamas's military branch. The confirmation comes more than two weeks after a strike on a compound in southern Gaza that targeted him. This confirmation also comes just a day after a strike that killed the leader of Hamas's political wing inside Tehran. Today, funeral ceremonies are underway for Ishmael Haniya. Thousands, including Iran's Ayatollah, attended. Reports say the Ayatollah has green-lighted a direct strike against Israel in retaliation for a strike on Iranian territory. Israel has not claimed responsibility, but is suspected of carrying out the attack. These strikes and another in Lebanon have the world bracing for a serious response from Iran and its proxies. News Nation's Tom Dempsey following all of this breaking news for us from the White House this morning. Tom. Hey, good morning, Brooke. Yeah, this morning has brought even more calls for revenge against Israel, with the New York Times citing three sources within the Iranian military saying that the supreme leader of Iran has vowed direct attacks against Israel using things like drones and missiles to target military facilities. This morning, also thousands of people filled the streets of Iran's capital for the funeral of Hamas political leader Ismail Haniya. Iran's supreme leader prayed over the coffin of Haniya this morning, and while Israel still has not claimed responsibility for the attack. Israel's military did announce that it killed Hezbollah's most senior commander in Beirut in a different strike hours before the attack in Tehran. Just this morning, Secretary of State Antony Blinken speaking about the need to tone down any possible escalation and to keep talks going on a possible ceasefire deal. Take a listen. And it's urgent that all parties make the right choices in the days ahead because those choices are the difference between staying on this path of violence, of insecurity, of suffering, or moving to something very different and much better for all parties concerned. Blinken added that uh, right now the, uh, the United States State Department says the United States had no prior knowledge of that Israeli airstrike. And literally at this hour, Brooke, there's a team of negotiators uh, from the United States in the Middle East, again, trying to keep the focus on getting a possible ceasefire deal done. Brooke? And Tom, all of this already impacting Americans in some way as well. Yeah, look, there's a lot of different elements to this. The concerns over this conflict possibly widening even more, impacting air travel. Delta and United Airlines announcing that uh, flights from New York City to Tel Aviv are currently on pause right now due to the concerns over this uh, conflict widening even more. And we also know the... We also know the United States State Department also issued a new warning to Americans not to travel to Lebanon because of tensions between Hezbollah and Israel. Yet another element to all this, uh, oil prices. Brent crude oil posted increases after uh, developments uh, in the Middle East over this uh, recent Israeli airstrike. And West Texas crude oil uh, posted increases as well, posting uh, you know the price of a bar barrel of oil closer to $80 a barrel. So there's real concerns at the concerns over this war or widening even more could even impact things like the price we pay at gas pumps, Brooke. Yeah, the ripple effects continue even here at home. Tom Dempsey in D.C. for us. Thanks. Thanks for watching, everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.